Okay, welcome to the installation of Exchange 2000 server. Uh, let's see. Uh, what we're going to do right now is to check uh, whether <clears throat> uh, we have cleared all the checklist and everything. Let's go step by step for a minute and we will head back to the installation process again. Okay, all the prepare schema, Active Directory organization and prepare a domain and everything is these, all the steps are already done. Uh, all these things I've installed earlier all you have to do is Microsoft Converter uh, or Office Converter or Filter Pack uh, needs to be installed. This is just a uh, three meg file. Uh, you can install it on your own. Uh, no need to show these things. Uh, WinRM 2.0, uh, it came with uh, R2 and .NET 3.5, SP1 needs to be installed and it should be installed from features. You cannot install manually. Okay, so <clears throat> we have uh, ran all the commands and did everything by the book as Microsoft says and uh, go please go uh, in this link 224 Microsoft actually says how to do these things I have uh, I have only lined up only the commands so one two three prepare schema uh, then comes the Active Directory organizations, uh, organization name. You can also do it, prepare AD. And lastly, there would be a prepare all domains, prepare all domains. So it's in order as Microsoft says. So we all of our installation checklist has been done. Let's double click on the installation of exchange server setup one quick thing uh, as you can see there are two setup this is a com file ms dos application when we are actually running all these commands it's run from within the setup.com file not the exe file okay back to where we were exchange language options installed only language that's available from the CD <clears throat> install Microsoft Exchange it'll take some time to load all the modules and everything Okay, Microsoft Exchange Server 2010 setup is initializing. <clears throat> Give it a couple of seconds, it will be coming up soon. There it is, introduction. This is for your reading. Uh, click next. Accept the license agreement with Microsoft. Uh, error reporting would be uh, highly recommended unless you think that Microsoft is stealing uh, <clears throat> information from your organization. That's not actually, it's doing it. Well, it's up to you if you, if you don't feel like it uh, click now. I'm going to click next. As we uh, issued the command with the typical exchange installation from from the web. <clears throat> typical installation would consist with all of this commandlet. Okay, typical installation. 
client access, hub transport, and mailbox server roles. So client access, hub transport, mailbox server roles, and exchange management tools, you'd, you'd, you're going to need it uh, <clears throat> uh, when you're actually managing the exchange. Automatic install, Windows Server roles, and features uh, required for Exchange Server. You can click and check it or uncheck it if you if you'd like. I'm going to click next. Client settings, two th Outlook 2003. No, I'm not going to uh, have any Outlook 2003 in my organization. Besides uh, having a public folder, uh, it's a bad idea. People actually has tendencies to dump all their files in the public folder so it will fill up and it will be severely hard to manage Microsoft is actually uh, trying to remove this public folder uh, but since uh, people actually uh, some in some organization people look for it so they still have it but I'm actually denying it so internet facing so uh, if your mail server uh, if I'm actually uh, installing a domain controller for my domain this would be my mail facing server but since uh, this is a lab setup I'm not going to install it right now I'm going to hit next oh, I don't want to join the customer improvement program at this time click next Prerequisite, uh, the readiness checks. The prerequisites uh, we have already done. Now it will check for readiness if everything is okay. So it will take some time. We're going to hit the um, pause right now and we will be back uh, when all the prerequisites passes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> The installation for uh, the prerequisite checks are all completed. As you can see, there are some informational uh, warnings that administrators is actually going to have much more privileges uh, if the Exchange Server 2010 is installed in a domain controller. That's what it actually is saying. So let's hit install. Okay, uh, I'm going to pause the video again for the process to be completed. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. Exchange Server 2010 setup has been completed. I'm going to click Finish. And I'm going to restart the computer. So Exchange Server 2010 has been completed. Hope you enjoy it. See you on the next video.